My name is Matthew Brandt. I live in Los Angeles. This is my studio in Hollywood. This is my dad's studio, which I've taken over. He's a commercial photographer. I've just made a huge mess of his old studio. <laughs> this is the old Technicolor manufacturing plant. I guess I've seen it go through a lot of different changes, see different tenants come in and out. And I've grown up sweeping and cleaning up and I guess just always helping my dad around the studio with equipment and lighting and things like that. There's a lot of like experiments and, and playing around in the studio. You never know what's going to turn itself into a project. There's working with crystals, there's windexes, there's waterfalls, silk screening in different materials, honeybees, dry erase marker, damp rids. <laughs> like there, that's um, vanilla frosting on red velvet. Made prints with dog shit, Crayola crayons. Uh, there's also toothpaste, pomegranates, radishes. There's some pieces of salami. Uh, hamburgers? You have hamburgers in the back? Yeah, yeah, I have hamburgers in the back, which are just sort of encased hamburgers that have probably been there for a few years. Most of my works are about kind of exploring the photographic technologies and then sort of relating the subjects to the photographic medium and seeing where they meet. The lakes and reservoirs have become about like the sea print process and wet chemical photography, which is something that I guess I was thinking a lot about. It, it's sort of, it's becoming an obsolete medium. Because Seabrookhorn printing is a wet chemical photography, it sort of made sense to do sort of something that represent bodies of waters like lakes and reservoirs because they're both submerged in water in order to get developed and that's what defines what they are in a lot of ways. So I go to a lake, photograph it, collect the water, bring it back to my studio, pour the water in a tray, and then make a print. Then with the C print, I soak it in the water. Eventually, over time, starts to degrade the emulsion of the C print. And then the sort of different color variations is the inherent colors in the C print that are degrading itself. At Rogue Wave, it's uh, Rainbow Lake. And I guess I like the name Rainbow Lake and, I, and we're exploring Rainbow Lake. Not only because it's like color associations, but um, also trying to see what I can get out of the medium too. It's lake water and the sea print. See the color variations that, that are inherent in the sea print. And um, that's why I like Rainbow Lake displayed as a grid. So you can see the variety that happens between each picture. A lot like photographers go out with their camera and take pictures. Uh, I feel like I'm doing that but sort of maybe like taking notes on materials or how something reacts or a circumstance or all that stuff is very interesting. I look at it as like capturing the world and trying to make something of it, which to me is like a very photographic process.